The purpose of this signing ceremony is transparency, promote accountability, and encourage the general population to monitor the implementation of the grants. Dr. Jimarini Tue, the coordinator of the Global Fund Grants in the country, cannot hide his excitement at the signing ceremony. We are given 421 million US dollars for the period 2014-2017. In November, we signed the two grants for malaria between uh, the public sector through the Minister of Finance and Health and the private sector through the aid support organization. Today, we are, we are witnessing the signing of five grants uh, for HIV, TB, and health system strengthening. During this period, we have already started commitments. We have embarked on implementation and have made commitments for slightly over 45 million US dollars. Through the country coordinating mechanism CCM, chaired by Uganda AIDS Commission Chairman Professor Vinand Nantulia, Uganda's application for new funding was given the green light. This will increase coverage of interventions across the country and reach all beneficiaries. Scale up treatment with antiretroviral drugs, scale up HIV counseling and testing. Likewise, on malaria, we are moving to elimination and total eradication. Regarding TB, we are rolling out the treatment of complicated and uncomplicated TB. The financial war chest will be invested in research to detect about 80% of the estimated drug-resistant TB cases and treat 80% of them by 2020. The UN AIDS country representative Musa Bungudu has said the country has made great leaps fighting the scourge of HIV and AIDS. We still need our response to be more focused, particularly in those districts, 61 districts, where this infection is coming from. The Global Fund has particular interest in the area of health system strengthening. If you don't have a resilient health system, you are in trouble. A fragile health system is a disaster. In 2005, the Global Fund suspended grants to Uganda after a probe unraveled theft of funds meant to fight HIV and AIDS, malaria and tuberculosis. Nobody will mess with the resources under the Global Fund again. No fooling with the public funds. If you want to fool, fool with everything else. Not public funds, as long as I'm the Minister of Finance. The Global Fund, which is the largest financier of HIV, AIDS, TB and malaria prevention and treatment programs, has impacted positively on the lives of Ugandans since its introduction 13 years ago. Florence Salimba, NTV.